Now let's create a few items on the scope. So we use the scope dot types equals empty array scope dot items equals empty array as well. These two, what they are, types are quantity, kilograms, whatever we're going to fetch from the database is going to be uh, then bind uh, to this types uh, variable here. And then for the items, obviously all of our uh, items, our shopping list items, basically. By default, they are just an empty, they are just empty arrays. Then we go for scope dot item equals empty string. Then we go for scope dot quantity equals empty string. Then we have scope dot type also empty string by default. Now we are going to define the first method scope dot how many characters uh, needed. Actually, how many more characters read it makes more sense. Characters need is equals function. And then semicolon after the closing curly bracket. Then we go for variable characters equals and we use our uh, constant minimum length. Then so rather than comma, we use uh, minus scope dot item dot length. And what happens here basically we take in this minimum length uh, whatever value is associated with this constant, and we're deducting the length of the item. The item will be our text field when we actually typing the new um, item for the for the shopping list. So depending on how many characters this uh, are already inside of this field, we're deducting this minimum length, which is at the moment two, minus the length of the characters in the text field, and that's what's going to give us the characters. So now we return and we do the check. Characters is more than zero. Then we're going to return characters. Otherwise, we return no. And how does it work? If we, let's say, have typed uh, onion uh, to the text field, let's type it here. Just I'm going to comment onion. We have three, four, five characters. So two minus five gives us minus three and now minus three is not more than zero it's less than zero so if it's mo uh, less uh, if this one obviously is uh, true then we would have number of characters otherwise we have zero because it's not true because it is characters sorry three is less than zero minus three is less than zero then obviously the second condition uh, result will be returned, which is no. Obviously, we don't need any more uh, any more characters. We we are okay. We we are okay to add this uh, record to the uh, to the database. Uh, otherwise, number of characters. So if we let's say had only O letter, two minus just one because if it's o, always one, it's more than zero. Then tell us how many more characters we still need to type in. So this is our how many more characters needed. If we go for the next method as well. And we define it on the scope as well. So scope. Uh, this one will be called how many characters uh, remaining equals function. And this one similar way variable characters equals this time max underscore length minus scope dot item length and then we go for return characters is more than zero then characters otherwise no again same situation 50 minus let's say something that we've got with three characters is gonna give us a uh, 47 if 47 is more than zero it is then return how many characters is left if it's less than zero, let's say we've got 50 and whatever we've typed in is 51, which would give us minus one, then zero characters remaining. So that's basically uh, what the re result of this specific method will be. Let's move to the next video and continue with our methods.